Hey, hey, uh, my name is Thursday. Hey, Thursday. Yeah, I go right between Wednesday and, of course, Friday. There are a lot of great things about Thursdays that I can't think of right now. But to a lot of people, I'm definitely their favorite because a six-inch Italian BMT is just three ninety-nine every Thursday at Subway restaurants. It's the sub of the day, and it's a different six-inch sub each day for three ninety-nine. So, in conclusion, Thursday Italian BMT, best day ever. Subway, make it what you want. At participating restaurants, additional charge for extras plus pickable tax. No additional discounts or coupons may be applied. Welcome, Hollywood producers and audience. And those who follow along the podcast, this podcast season is about movie-themed storylines. And I'm going to be describing some stories and movies I have in line. And we'd love to go work for Hollywood and to see them on the actual theater. This story we're going to start off, this story is called The Wrong House. And there's movies like Don't Breathe, 13 Ghosts, Cabin in the Woods... The time era is 2020. So let's get into it. This movie is a now day movie starting with a college student, Chase, that has mental issues. And he moves to Monterey from San Diego, Prunedale, California to be exact. And he wanted to attend a California State University. Now his mom had just passed and he had found a box that had an ownership to a house that his grandpa had built in the 80s. His grandpa had been diagnosed as a mental schizophrenic and was labeled crazy as he ran away from his job at the Winchester Mystery House. Some say he was acting possessed by the spirits there and he always kept his blueprint plans to build this house he kept talking about. Kind of like in when the woman was possessed in the Winchester Mystery House. After he quit his job, he moved to Prunedale, California and built this odd house with features like the Winchester Mystery House. He was never heard from again after he moved. In 2018, before Chase's mom passed, a mysterious letter was sent to his mom with the key and paperwork. She never found the house. Hence, she put the letter up. Chase found it and went to go find it. The house sits on a hill hidden by trees and brush, and the road to the house was covered with brush, so that's why the mom had never found it because the mom was supposed to be there to follow the curse and die in the house. Now Chase is staying with a roommate who finds a letter, plots his crew to break in the house and rob everything. The crew makes a plan to go in the house when Chase is in class. When they get to the house, the address didn't match. Chase's roommate says, I think we got the wrong house. The crew of seven, four boys and three girls, turns the key and opens the door. Now Chase had found the house a few days earlier and did a walk through of the place. Everything was odd in the house as stairs lead to a brick wall. Secret doors and furniture lead to weird rooms. The bathroom had a bed instead of a tub. The fridge was a bedroom door. There was dresses mounted high on the wall. Everyone was like, what the heck is wrong with this house? Where are we at? So I said, yeah, I think we're in the wrong house. Let's get out of here. He had got spooked and left the house before he can explore more. That's what was Chase before the people broke in. When Chase was in the morning class, the crew and his roommate drove to the house. When inside the house, they started to snoop around. When one of the crew uses a toilet, which when flushed, it triggered for all the doors to close and lock. The crew was scared and said, we caught up now. He probably set us up. It's another thing he chased it set them up. This house shakes like earthquake all of a sudden. Hit the crew hard and everyone falls to the floor and goes to ducks for cover. They thought it was an earthquake. The door, they went to go open the door to unlock it and now it unlocks. When the door opens, they find nothing but rocks and roots and dirt blocking all exits. When one tries to bust a window, same thing. They didn't know, but the house was a setup. The house was a setup to kill Chase because of his grandpa's curse and possession. Now the crew hears, welcome Chase. They don't know the place is haunted by evil spirits. Six of them are in there. So now the evil spirits are unleashed. Chase gets curious of the place as he researches his grandpa's story and drives back to the place where the house is, but now he can't find it. 
The area is covered up by plants and brushes and weeds that were made to look real while the house was like two stories underground on platforms that lowered it. Chase's puzzle never checks the bushes to see that they were fake to cover up what's beneath. Chase calls the police, but they laugh and think he's crazy and on drugs. The crew goes in hell down trying to escape. They go through hell in this house. The spirits get out of the house. All but one die. So as the spirits get out the house at the end, they go back in. All but one person dies, all the kids, and one escapes. The last one is his roommate. And he is found when he finds the only way out. But not before he finds a casket with Chase's grandpa in it. It's a casket. Chase's grandpa is sitting there in the casket with a scared look on his face. You can see his, the look. His jaws are open with fright. And he is holding a note that says, Wrong house. Isn't that kind of odd? When Chase finds his roommate, they go back to school and vow never to say what happened. At the end of the movie, the house pops back up. And it shows, written in blood by one of the crew, one of the crew wrote in blood inside the house, wrong house. So this leaves it open for a bunch of scenes, a bunch of scary scenes. You have a bunch of ghosts in there that are spirits that are haunting the place because their possession followed them from the Winchester Mystery House, and they were trying to kill Chase's mom. Now this leads open for a whole bunch of uh, ideas. If you guys like this idea, I can write some more. I can write some more scenes. And uh, this leads it open for a prelude for a part two because the part two was showing what happened before. The part two of the movie shows how Chase's grandpa built the house, got possessed by the Winchester Mystery House, and went and shows him going through hell inside the house by himself where the spirits go and get him. So this is a, one of them really scary, chilly movies that can be set in nowadays. So it can even be written uh, a year from now and finished two years from now or something. And it still connect with nowadays technology and Wi-Fi enhancements and all that. Besides that, the house is not, though. The house was built in the 80s. So the house is, was old, but it was built weirdly. So spirits possessed them. And we got more movies coming up. I mean, this is the movie section. If you guys like hearing the movies, you know, we have Goonies 2 coming out. I want to uh, take off of Goonies 2. Either I can write about how, you know, the ship at the end of Goonies 1, it just sailed off and it never was seen again. I can write uh, about that. And the actual Goonies kids or grandkids, or I can make up a whole new group of kids and you know, base it on uh, Francis Drake's golden hind ship that was uh sunken and never found his lost treasure and a gold plaque or the copper plaque that was found that was fake well these kids can find the real one we also have a movie in line called the first and this movie is about the first what goes down before the first and after the first about three friends they struggle through their lower class in the hood but it shows how everyone acts there's middle class and high class people in the movie and it shows that everyone connects to the first and how it affects them or doesn't affect them, and it's just a funny movie, kind of like Friday and How High and all that. You guys would love that. And I have another movie uh, right now called um, Detention. And it's one of them school movies where uh, this school detention teacher uh, finds out he has cancer, and he is sitting there, and he wants to preach to the kids because he wants to spend his last life uh, on earth preaching to the kids and changing their lives. And he was sitting there drinking in class and smoking in class and being cool with them and takes them out on a trip. One of the teachers finds out and sees him. And uh, they tell him the principal and the principal. And then uh, they go through. Uh, they were going to arrest the teacher. And um, they were going to fire him and all that. He was already fired and arrest him. But he gives a, a, a good speech at the end. Makes the kids cry. The teachers cry. And um, he actually dies on the spot after a speech. He falls over, passes out, and dies. Now, the thing about these kids, these are all detention kids. So out of these kids, 100% of these kids finished school, went back to school. Out of that, 80% of those kids went on to college. And these were kids that were detention kids from the – have hard uh, – in gangs and drugs, um, early pregnancy, 
and uh, they made an impact on him and he had a plaque on the wall and he was known as a hero for that so there's so many movies uh, that will be coming up soon nowadays it's hard you don't know what you have to do to get into hollywood or to get noticed and all that so i just wanted to start explaining movies with little background sounds on this season so this season will be about movie intros and ideas and all that even cartoons uh, cartoon uh, ideas maybe sitcoms and all that maybe even uh, pretend uh, comedy nights where i uh, talk about talk about some comedy and write some comedy for the comedians Thank you for tuning in. This is the Real Talk Pod. This is Saint G. And if you guys want to get a hold of me about some movies, uh, my email is g r e g o r y eighteen e m a n u e l at gmail dot com. That's Gregory eighteen Emmanuel at gmail dot com. Thank you for tuning in, and uh, keep listening. School is back in, and Grocery Outlet has these amazing back-to-school savings. This week, stock up on Jif peanut butter. 16-ounce creamy or crunchy varieties are buy two, get one free. That's a savings of up to 67% versus traditional grocery stores. Limit three free. Also this week, Kettle Brand potato chips. Eight and a half ounce assorted varieties are buy one, get one free. At $1.99 for two, that's a savings of up to 75%. Limit two free. Offers good through September 10th. Grocery Outlet Bargain Market. Hey, uh, my name is Thursday. Hey, Thursday. Yeah, I go right between Wednesday and, of course, Friday. There are a lot of great things about Thursdays that uh, I can't think of right now. But to a lot of people, I'm definitely their favorite because a 6-inch Italian BMT is just three ninety nine every Thursday at Subway restaurants. It's the sub of the day, and it's a different 6-inch sub each day for three ninety nine. So, in conclusion, Thursday, Italian BMT, best day ever. Subway, make it what you want. At participating restaurants, additional charge for extras plus pickable tax. No additional discounts or coupons may be applied.